Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make cottage pie. If you like. And here is the lovely cottage pie. If you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. And I'd love to hear your comments on what you think of the video and how you get on with yours. And if you think any of your friends would like it, do share it on social media. And if you haven't done so already, just hit that subscribe button. It's free of charge. And it just lets you see more videos that comes up every week. Okay, so we're just gonna dice up some onions. And if you want to know how to cut an onion up without crying, just look at the link below. You can use peas if you wanted to. Um, I haven't got any because there's no fresh peas in the shop. Okay, into a pot, you put your mince. Now I've used a good quality steak mince because it's healthier, but it really doesn't matter. Now you can use beef, that would make it a cottage pie. But if you wanted to use lamb, then it'd be a shepherd's pie if you wanted to be technical about it. Now some people add onions, some people don't. I do. And then if you just add your carrots, if you're going to be adding them, and if you were adding peas, you could put them in. And then I boil this in some water. So I'm just adding some hot water. So we'll just give that a, a mix around and then bring that to the boil again, put a lid on it and let it simmer for about 15, 20 minutes. Right, now what I do for the potatoes, while that's cooking, I cook the potatoes and I tend to cook mine in a steamer. So you've just got a pot of hot water at the bottom and then the, the holy one on top and that way the potatoes stay whole rather than going all mushy and then I put them in a pot afterwards to match which I'll show you later on in the video you need to add some salt some black pepper some mixed herbs if you want to and some turmeric now this isn't optional, but I like to add a bit of tomato puree to mine. And then we want to add a beef stock cube. Then you want to take a little bit of the juice out. And you just want to add a few gravy granules to the juice. And then you add your gravy that you just made back into your pot. It smells lovely and it's looking really nice. And what you want to do is to put this into a nice deep dish. Careful it doesn't splash too much, so stand back. You know, you want it to be about two inches thick. And what you want to do is let that cool down, that mince a bit, before you actually put the mashed potato on it. Otherwise the mashed potato can just sink. Okay, you want to put about 10 grams of butter. And then you want to add a little bit of salt. I always tend to do it at this stage before I actually add the potatoes small bit of white pepper and I always put a, just a very tiny amount of cayenne pepper with my mashed potatoes and as I said to you earlier I steam my potatoes so they stay nice and whole and not go all mushy and I give them a mash with a masher before I add the milk. I'm sure everyone's got their own way of doing it, but this is how I do it. And once you've mashed it up with the masher, then I'll add the milk. And I just push down with the masher. And then after a while, you can kind of mix it around at the same time in like circular movements to make it a little bit more creamy. There is a few different ways you could do this mash. You could add a few cooked leeks to it. That makes it really tasty, gives it a lovely flavour. 
But what I love to do with um, a cottage pie is actually put a bit of grated cheese in with this mash and it'll melt into it and it'll be delicious. It gives it that extra little bit of flavour. Okay, so I'm just going to put some of this cheese in here. You don't need a huge amount, just something to give it that little bit of a different flavour. So, so once this has cooled down this mince a little bit, it kind of has this film over it and so it stops the mashed potatoes from sinking down. It doesn't have to be completely cooled, just leave it for about 15 minutes to cool down. And then you put some of your mashed potatoes on the top. You can see those lovely bits of cheese going through it. So you want a good two or three inches deep roughly of the mashed potatoes as well. And just spread it out. And then a good idea would be to just get a fork and go around the edge to give it a little pattern and then come in and just keep work doing this around until you work towards the centre. And then you put that in the oven. Right, now we're just going to dish up this cottage pie. some broccoli and a nice bit of kale to go with it and here is the lovely cottage pie thank you for watching lifestyle with Sharon video on how to make cottage pie I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to showing you more recipes next week